Okay, guys. So yeah, welcome to TNT Sunrise Projects uh, webinar. And uh, this is webinar is going to give you some guidance for the global markets for this week, right? Uh, although it's Wednesday, but uh, I think the markets just start to uh, move uh, from today, right? Because we do see some uh, breakouts and some good opportunities come in, right? So just to, to highlight where uh, who I am, I'm TNT Sunrise from Trading View top author. I think it's top also for today and also uh, top also for the uh, all time. Okay, let's start from uh, one market first, which is uh, sterling yen. All right. <laughs> remember last week, uh, it's actually from the, the beginning of May. Remember, uh, we actually captured the sterling yen short from 146, right? And 145. Okay. And right now it's give us uh, almost 700 pips, right? <clears throat> so this is the ability that how we anticipate the market and how we participate in the markets, right? By using structure, by using harmonic patterns, by using a lot of strategies, okay? Right? So you know, you understand what kind of uh, uh, strategy we are going to make use and uh, why we are going to pick the very, very nice entry is and hold till the end. Okay, enjoy the whole wave down, right? Okay, so this is a sterling yen trade. It's very, it's super big profit, all right? Then uh, let's go for the gold, all right? <laughs> the gold has uh, just completed the bad pattern, right? And also, uh, we mentioned that 1302 is a good level to short, if you remember last time, right? So, uh, for those who short from 1302 or those who short from my last webinar, I said we short from here. Do you remember? When uh, Just to check, because last webinar, I think we are in uh, May 14th, all right? And we saw a breakdown. And I said, you guys can short the pullback from 1299, right? And immediately we have a almost $5 move. And then look at here now, this gold short actually gives us about... Uh, almost $30 move, which is 300 pips, right? If you short by one lot, you earn 3,000 US dollar, if you remember in my last webinar, right? Okay, so basically, uh, again, we captured a nice move for the gold in the last week, right? It's really from the, the, the top to the end, okay? And also, uh, let's move to the daily chart of gold. Okay, daily chart of gold, there is a bit... Uh, downside risk because the long-term trend line was broke almost broken right if you can see from the long-term trend line from August 15th right looks like here uh, today the price is already outside of the trend line do you agree right so just to be, be aware of this potential downside move because this uh, this support right is going to be tested and is likely to break the gold may break this support because it has been out of this trend line right it is below this trend line which means that the long-term bullish trend has end has ended okay so uh if the gold can break one to 60, 66 right that basically means you can actually find a pullback short to short from one to six six and all the way to one to thirty, right? Because the gold is likely to retrace to the six one eight level from the swing low to swing high, okay? About one to thirty, okay? So just to pay attention to these patterns, okay? Be alert if the gold break down one to sixty six, okay? Find pullbacks, find small pullbacks or lower time frame pullbacks or inside bar breakdown. Cool? You get it? Yeah, give me five if you understand the logic of this trade because it is just open the downside room, right? But right now, you don't want to short from here a bit because it still have opportunity to go up, okay? If the gold failed to break this low right it will retrace up so you don't short from here but you have to short the breakdown and pullback and that's why we need a very very big red candle to close below 1266 
okay, just to watch this happen, okay, you have to see a very, very strong bullish, sorry, bearish candle to close below 1266, and then immediate after you see this patterns, right, okay, just find the pullback short. <clears throat> yes, if the current candle inside bar breakdown, you can you can sell, right? You can sell, right? Let's go for the four hour chart. Okay, the four hour chart looks like there's a potential some support from this this place one two seventy one. This is a potential supporting our uh, area because the last time when the non farm payroll starts to go right from here, if you remember. Okay, and now it's tested and bounce up, but failed to break new high, which means the 1278.93 is still resistance. This place become resistance, right? So what we can do is you can wait for the second test of this area, right? If still cannot break down and it forms some pattern like this, like a pin bar or hammer, right? If you see something like this, retest this 1270 area but cannot break through, right? And then it's a time for you to catch a rally. And the rally's target is going to be 1283, going to be here. All right. And if you remember uh, in my students' group, I said when gold breaks down 1285, what we can do is we can find the pullback to short, right? In the last uh, week. So the gold did actually goes down and look at the wicks, okay? This wick, okay, this wick is actually a representation, uh, represents, represents this pullback. So a lot of people, a lot of uh, institution sellers, they sell from here, okay? So we capture a very nice move in the last week, right? Okay, and now what we need to do is, okay, today you have to watch this area whereby uh, the price may fall the 618 level, okay? It will come to 1272.38, okay? Just watch 1272.38. If the price come here but cannot going through going down anymore, find a, back, find a place to buy the gold. Are we clear? So now, actually, you can see in short term wise, okay, we can actually buy the gold, buy the low of the gold, right? But in long term wise, okay, we are still bearish, right? But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It just depends on what is your time, trading time frame, right? You, want to, you can buy from here if the gold failed to break new low, okay? So this is scenario one, scenario one. Okay, as a trader, we have to have this op, uh, ability to break down different scenarios. Okay, scenario one, okay, gold failed to break down one, two, six, six, right? Then we find our 618 level to buy the pullback. <sighs> okay, scenario two, okay, gold break down one two six six okay then we find a pull back to sell and aim one two thirty one anyone have any questions about these two scenarios anyone are we clear about this scenario, multiple scenario forecast. Are we good? Right, both, uh, uh, any, any of this may happen, right? Any of this may happen. But you have to prepare for what you can do. Anyone are confused about this activity? 
Will oil influence? No, no. Gold, gold, our uh, gold will just move by, by itself. But it has nothing to do with oil. Okay. So, uh, for for short term wise, we want to uh, capture this buy from one to seventy two. For long term wise, we are waiting for the breakout of this one to sixty six to happen and short the pullback. Okay. Yes, gold have a huge relation for DXY. Any pairs have a good relation to DXY because gold, right, is priced, okay, based by dollar. So if dollar goes up, the gold may go down. If dollar decreases, the gold will go up. How does the Fibonacci work? Okay, Fibonacci actually tells you a place, right, let's say 0 0.618, okay? What does what does zero point six one eight mean? Okay, first of all, it is a golden ratio. Okay, it's golden ratio. Second of all, okay, it is actually a forty percent. Sorry, it's a sixty percent discount. Just ask yourself, okay, for guys, right? If you saw, if you see a a Mercedes Benz car setting at a sixty percent off, it's pre uh, plenty new car. Are you interested to buy? Are you? Or for girls, if you saw a Gucci bag or a Chanel bag selling at a 60% discounted price, but it's new bag, it is a good bag, are you going to buy? Are you tempted to buy? Or do you think that, yeah, it's, it's a good price, let's, let's buy, because it's really cheap. Do you think so? Rick Hollywood. I'm answering your questions, so please give me your answers. Thank you. All right, so the 618 in a bullish wave, in a bullish wave, okay, the 618 represents a supporting area because this price is cheaper enough to attract buyers to come in, all right? And it's a golden ratio. <clears throat> okay, good. Always uh, seeing someone ask DXY, let's see DXY, okay? DXY is strong, it's strong, okay? It's ready from 97.20 and now it's testing the previous high, <coughs> okay? George said, feel DXY, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> he feels GDX going to break down. Yes, you're right, because gold is going down, <coughs> okay? But for the dollar index, all right, I say it's really strong, right? And this time it may break the, this this high of ninety eight point thirty six, right? Because it has just break out this channel, right? You can say here it breaks down this channel, and this actually is a bullish flag. It's a bullish flag, right? So a flag breakout means the trend continues, right? Just like last time, like this, right? Just like this, you can see a lot of a bullish flag going up. Right, but we don't want to chase the price from here. Right, however, you can focus on buying from 97.70. Okay, focus on buying from the pullback because if the gold, if the DXY pullback to here, chances said it's going up is very high, and you can make a lot of money by making this buy. Right, and for the weekly chart, <coughs> the DXY looks a very good breakout because last week the DXY is formed a very strong bullish candle of here. Okay, and now today, uh, this week already makes higher high. Right? If can maintain about this, DXY we're going up. And by looking at the other pairs like Euro, okay, the Euro is bearish, right? Continue down, bearish daily chart, right? The bias losing momentum because the high is getting lower and lower, right? The high is getting lower and lower, right? The low is also getting lower and lower. Okay, so if the euro breaks 1.1120, that's a problem, right? That's that will be create a problem. It will going down, and the, uh, our long term bearish target 1.09 is likely to see this this gap to fill, right? I'm thinking that the the the, the euro will go down to here, right? Okay, this view I have never changed since euro was 1.25. I said the euro may feel the gap of here. And you can see it's really a bearish chain of stars. Okay, trying to bounce, every time it bounce up, boom, crash. Bounce up, crash. Okay, and last week is a bearish engulfing. This week is still a, a long week candle with facing up. So uh, the, 
the euro is really bearish and we want to focus on sell okay but uh, the the breaking out point you have to measure is 1.1113 okay so just uh, mark this level you see whether the price can break down of this level or not if not okay find opportunity to buy if yes all right sell the pullback just like gold right okay let's talk about sterling sterling is really a very nice move okay things last week uh, i said after the tier right the breakdown the structure pullback you sell from the 1.2970 and then you just can just by applying the same method right whenever the the, the sterling makes a lower low okay find a pullback to sell okay break down again pull back sell break down again right there's no pullback but it can still hold breaks down again pulls back and sell right so this is a very very nice wave that we captured right but let me ask you a question do you want to buy the sterling now do you do you want to buy it from here when a trend is really bearish anyone any any brave man anyone <laughs> no yeah the answer is no because it's very bearish unless it actually you have very very certain clue that it will bounce up from here okay for example now after the measurement we know that it has completed a b c d patterns right and then we use the fibonacci extension we know that it will have uh it may test the 1.618 extensions okay so now it's 1.414 the 1.61 is 1.2547 which is uh close to the previous low from here okay so the sterling may continue going down to 1.2540 maybe right so get ready to buy the sterling when it hits to this level okay or you have to wait for the price to form a yeah double bottoms okay former double bottoms and then you buy the 600 pull back and then you goes up okay wait for the patterns to come and then you buy but not now right not now when bearish trend you still have space going down right you don't just catch the falling knife unless it has a very very good entry point how many patterns complete yes but the, the 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 momentum is still strong so you don't want to catch the falling knife right now right you can wait for the double bottoms to come up and use the 600 to buy or use the neckline pullback to buy right no hurries no hurries okay just wait and in one hour chart right you can see still bearish right yesterday we have a very nice rally from here okay but it just have a breakout breakdown of this inside bar right you can see here the inside bar breaks down right if you catch the inside bar it's still good right? it makes a lot of money all right that's why we need to learn patterns because only patterns can give you a very very specific entry point or a very uh, nice uh, <coughs> stop loss level okay Any questions of sterling? Any questions? Yeah, another 90 pips, right? And now still is still bearish. So bearish just focus on sell, right? You have to wait for the price to at least give you some something, okay? Like second wave cannot break new low and then breaks up, forms a W, okay? Forms a double bottom, and then you find a pullback to buy. Right? That's idea that you can you can consider to to do, okay? Yeah, maybe maybe the pre pre exit issues, yeah. Right, it actually goes down because of the break exit issues, right? But I feel when a, when a sterling is reaching one point two five. 40 this stone right don't sell all right just finding some patterns to consider to buy from here okay because it's really hard for the sterling to continue going down because the 1.2377 is really very low very cheap this place is like it's not like to break 
because it's very strong support from the two one seventh April. Where this is the beginning, this is the beginning time of the whole entire bullish move of sterling. You see here, right? So this point is really strong, right? The one point two three seventy is not likely to break, right? So just wait for the patterns to complete here and capture a buy from here, and then it may just flips up like when pre exit issues over the sterling may go back to 1.37 right long term wise it may go back to 1.37 that's very possible right that's very possible okay to the neckline here so it will be a thousand pips moves but the 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 question is you have to wait for the patterns to complete right good Okay, Aussie. Aussie is still uh, very bearish. Still, uh, after I said, after it breaks down 0.70, right? Okay, continue going down, and uh, uh, the bearish wave continues, right? But now it looks like uh, uh, it's very hard to break 0.68, right? Because the, the, there's a gap here it filled, and now it's still sustained. However, uh, the, this long wick represents a uh, very wide place because the uh, Aussie may goes down to test 0 0.67 again. So don't buy the Aussie, right? Find a bullish pattern to buy, but not now. Not now. It's still, still quite easy. Okay, so it's a, it's a gap up and then boom, it just come down again. And then the price just, the buyers failed to push the price any higher. <clears throat> okay. Um, but I won't suggest you to sell the Aussie at a very such a low low place. Just watch it, ob observe it, right? Observe the Aussie. Don't touch it. Okay. See the dollar CAD, the Canadian. Okay, uh, dollar CAD looks like still in the bullish channel, right? You can consider to buy again because uh, this place is really very nice to buy from here, right? It may have another rally from 1.34, okay, and test 1.35. Right, this is what we call. Okay, you can consider buy this pulls back from 1.34, right? And the stop loss is below 1.3330. Okay. As for the oil, okay, okay, oil. Uh, for in four hour chart, uh, in the last week, as we have plenty of opportunities. First opportunity comes from here, from this structure. If you sell from the this structure, sell from here, instantly you earned about two, two dollar, two or three hundred pips, and then you can consider to buy from this place, buy from here, buy from this uh, our guardy patterns, right? If you buy from this guardy guardy patterns, you can also enjoy a buy from here, and then you can actually consider to buy if you miss the first entry, okay, not an issue, and you just need to find this two six one eight trade. It's double bottoms, right? And you find a 2618 trade to trade the 618 pullback from 61.12, like from here. And then you also can enjoy a very nice move. Okay. Okay. So now let's say, <clears throat> let's see what will happen now. Okay. Now the, the oil is coming back to the potential neckline here. So we can pull the structure here. And you can see the price is coming. Kind of it's kind of a uh, supporting from here, right? So you also measure the 618 again. Oh, okay, 61.84. Okay, 61.84. Or you maybe use the, the previous low from here. Okay, uh, it's like 61.46. Okay, so either you wait for this neckline or you can wait for the 618. Both place you can consider to buy the oil. Okay, because I think. It has a bearish pattern to complete like this. Okay, and this is telling me the oil is likely to go up to 65.50 and the best shorting opportunity will come from here. Okay, so what we can do is we're trying to catch a bullish wave, okay, from here to here, from 61.63 to 65, and then you start to short from that level and all the way aims down. All right, so this is what we call harmonic patterns combinations how did you decide on which low you can try any lows but just use pick those very obvious one like this one 60 60 is definitely is the lowest point of the recent move it is a, it is the lowest point of the entire move right you can use this one tells you okay 
41.46 is the area that the oil will give you a 60% discount. Do you want do you want to join? You want to join, right? If you think yeah, 61.46 is a really good place to buy, right? Go for it. Go for it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the SMP. Okay. Uh, I think last week I mentioned the SMP is likely to going up, right? Now I ask you guys to buy the neckline pullback. Any of any one of you? If you bought from 2843, you earn to 2890. You bought it again, you still earn, right? And now uh, still no change, still no change of these uh, patterns. I think because uh, SMP is still making higher lows, right? Okay, and higher highs. Okay, so it may have another high higher from here, and you can put you can just uh, uh, consider to use this uh, as a bullish channel maybe. Okay, you may just to continue goes up, and all the way to touch the six one eight level. Okay, two a ninety seven point eight. Okay, so S M P you have to. Get ready, the price may rally to 2897.8. Okay, that will be a place for you to take a short or take profit of your buy. Mm -hmm. And there is also the ABCD patterns from here. Okay, just to be careful of this ABCD patterns. Mm, looks like SP have another wave to going up tonight, 2924 maybe. But however, you have to go overcome to 2900, right? The 618 plus, plus uh, ABCD patterns, right? So SMP still have bullish move. So trying to find any buy uh, at low, buy the dip, okay? Buy the dip. Of course, if you measure from here, you can see the very nice price action formed from the 618 level of 2A34, right? Ping bar, two ping bar, inside bar breaks up, right? So it is a good buy, good time to buy from last week from here. Okay, and, all, and the first target, 2891, second target will be 2940. Okay, or the 618. Yeah, it may break the triangle. Yeah, but I think the SMP is going up. All right. <clears throat> okay, look at the Bitcoin. And immediately after last week, I said uh, <laughs> Bitcoin reached 8,000, and then I said there is a potential cup and handle patterns, right? If you understand cup and handle, this cup, cup was formed, and all we need is to see another handle, right? If, if, the, if the price gives another U shape like a handle and break 8,004, it will push the price to 113,000, 13, right? And we really have a very nice buy from the uh, Bitcoins because we saw uh, two inside bars, right? This is inside bar breaks up. This is a second inside bar breaks up, right? When once it breaks up, you enter and you capture the move. All right, Demo said S&P will have a big drop to 2793. All right, I think, uh, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. When you look at the, look at the daily chart, right? Anything will be possible because two seven eight three is definitely is is a reachable place of this uh, support, right? It's tangible, right? But it is not a reason for it to short from here. Okay, it is not a reason for it to short from here. Why? Because it is not high enough. You want to short? If you want to short, try to short from two nine ten. Okay, try to short from here. This place is place for you to short because you cannot just uh, say it will break down. It's hard to break down, right? Because this means money. This means money, big money goes in from here. Unless all the buyers, okay, losing money. All the buyers, they quit, they escape, right? But you can see here, they still have a bullish momentum right now, okay? The price doesn't want to come down. So uh, whether it goes down to 79.3, it doesn't matter. It's on the only thing matter is how are you going to trade, right? How, how are you going to trade? Are you going to trade the buy the low or sell the high or now? But right now, I don't think it's an opportunity to trade. 
it's neither a good a good setups to buy because you have a big place to drop. It's not uh, uh, either uh, you want to sell, but it has potential to 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 to, to ready, right? Okay, Paul ask uh, Euro Yen, right? Let's look at the Euro Yen. Okay, the Euro Yen looks like find a find a play, find a find a bottom from one 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 two two. Okay, the Euro Yen looks uh, find a first bottom, right? So all you need to do is to watch for the second drop and trying to capture the buy from here. The Euro Yen, I'm bullish. I'm bullish for Euro Yen. But it may not become it's a euro goes up. It will uh, maybe it's because the sterling, uh, the dollar yen will goes up to fill this gap, right? So if dollar yen right to one one one, the euro yen will also rally. Understand? So you have to ask yourself, why are you going to trade euro yen rather than dollar yen? Dollar yen will be simple. Right, because if dollar goes goes up, dollar yen will goes up. Correct. And if you buy euro yen, what happens if euro continue to drop? All right. Okay. So uh, let's. Uh, what 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 else we can look? How about uh, okay Tesla? Okay, Tesla has a very big drop to one 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 hundred ninety-eight. Okay, it make a breakdown of here, so you can see what I teach is also good for the patterns to trade stocks. When you see a breakdown of this one thirty-one, right, you find a pullback to sell it, and you enjoy the fall. Okay, do do you agree? This is a pullback trade. Breakdown, pull back yourself from one to one, two, two thirty, and you earn to one ninety eight. Okay, and look at a weekly chart of uh, Tesla. Right, is uh, going to have some support from here, from one seventy eight level. Right, so just to be ready, the Tesla may have a ready from here. Okay, to retest one thirty two or. One five nine two five nine sorry two thirty two or two five nine, but it's still a very bearish trend now. So in one hour chart, looks like it's a one test, second test, but uh, still going up, going down. So you have to read to watch the price actions. Okay, sterling yen. All right, sterling yen. I said already, uh, just to hold your short, but uh, you have to take some profit because it has to already test the neckline from here. So it's hard for the sterling yen to to drop as quickly as it previous do, right? <clears throat> so just watch the price actions, find some bullish setups, right? But now today is still bearish, right? Because the whole the whole bullish move was engulfed. It looks like the one thirty nine point seventy becomes a resistance, right? And we saw our inside bar breaks down. And it may break down furthermore. So no buy, no sales for selling and just watch or just close your trade. AMAT, okay. Why you Euro Yen Power, I already explained. Power. You just uh, get distracted. I just answered the question for you already, Euro Yen. Okay. Uh Apple, uh, sorry, applied materials, right? Applied materials. Okay, let's get for the daily chart, right? Doesn't look very good because the the high the high is at a forty five. It is uh, uh, we cannot fill the gap. So a lot of sellers coming from forty seven, and now the price has already break down the bullish channel from here. You can see, right? The, down, the, the so this bullish move was was gone. So the price may have a further decline of these stocks, right? Pulls back and the second chart to to complete this A B C D move. Okay, so the targeting price will be about uh, 37, about here, somewhere here. Okay, so you, I think you can uh, wait for to buy these stocks about 37 or 35 to watch for this gap. Right, if it fills this gap, I think it's a good time to buy. Otherwise, not uh, you don't want to 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 trade. Yeah, sterling already already topped. It's a second. Second, same by talk for sterling. I said it's still bearish move, 
And for sterling, wait for the price to come to 1.25, 40, wait for price to come here, find bullish setups. Okay, by what I mean bullish setups, maybe something like this, okay, a bullish harmonic, harmonic patterns or a double bottoms, right? Okay, so you have to listen carefully, okay? When I explained, right, don't ask the same question over and over again, right? Otherwise, you miss the point to join the webinar. You just go for the recordings. Okay, so I think, yeah, we have already covered most of the markets. Maybe the last one I think I will show will be the uh, ETH. Okay, the ETH is very strong bullish. Okay, so Ethereum has to break the neckline from here and you can see a beautiful retest Okay, beautiful test from here, right? So it's good to buy from 200 level. And I think the next target for the ETH will be here. Will be somewhere about four, 400 level, okay? 400 level, okay? So it's considered to a long-term investment of the ETH, right? I'm looking for a bullish wave to 400. Would you trade pairs like Kiwi Cat? No, never. I will never trade a pair like Kiwi to Canadian dollars. Why? Okay. Don't trade NZDCAD. First thing, okay. The pips value is low. Second, okay. The movement is slow, okay. Why you want to trade a pair that moves very slow? You can see here, it drop, looks like drop a lot, right? But it's only dropped from 0 0.92 to 0 0.87, okay? It's not a very, very sharp move <coughs> considered to those uh, bearish pairs, okay? And also, this one you earn, you earn Canadian dollar. You don't earn US dollar. You have to divide by 1.31. Okay, which means you earn about a 70 cents or 80 cents. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, seven or eight dollar per pip if you trade one lot. You also don't trade a CNH. Do not trade a CNH because the spread is very high, okay, and the pips value is low. You have to divide by 60.9 for every ten dollar, for every 10 RMB you, you made. Okay, and this, the one major reason is, okay, is PBOC, right? It's People's Bank of China. You have nothing to do with this centralized, those government machine, right? They can easily, you know, make a very super big move by just one statement that says, okay, today we, we announced that the dollar to CNY, we make it to 0.6.6. .6. They can just easily raise about 2,000 2, pips. And you, can not, you have nothing to do with that. So do not trade a pair that is not fully market-based. It's like government-controlled, right? Just same, same thing. You don't, trade, you don't want to trade the US dollar, Hong Kong dollar. It's boring. <laughs> it's boring. You look at the prices going like, oh, it's a very big move. But look at, the, look at here. From 7.80 to 7.84, you cannot make any money. The spread is wide enough to, to cover all your profits. Okay, so okay, P pay attention to these pairs. Okay, gold. All right, gold have very good liquidity. Gold have very nice movement. Oil. Okay, sterling. All right, euro. All right, pay pay attention to this this direct pairs. All right, sometimes you can consider sterling yen. Okay, all right. Do not trade like euro kiwi. You know or Euro, Aussie, right? Try not to trade these pairs. You can see that the fluctuation is a, is a lot, right? You, if you think that it's, you, you capture a bullish trend, right, from here, for example, from here, after this candle, you think, wow, oh, it's a very bullish engulfing. You want to buy, boom, comes 100%, right? It's very sideways markets of these cross pairs, right? Sometimes when it has a, one-way market, right? For example, Euro Aussie goes up all the way. Okay, but you look at you look at Aussie dollar. Right? If you just move your attention to Aussie dollar, you can also have a very very clear downtrend from Aussie. Right? 
then why do you think you want to trade euro aussie and euro aussie you earn aussie by the profit but aussie dollar you earn us dollar by the profit okay so you have to ask yourself why you want to go in with these pairs right the the pusher is not from euro aussie it's from aussie us dollar because aussie drops a lot then that's why the euro goes up the euro aussie goes up okay I never go to in UK oil because of the liquidity. Okay. Right. WTI has better liquidity of the than the than the uh, than the Brent. Uh, you can also trade the UK, right? But uh, the EIA the EIA report affects the UK the US oil, not the UK. Right. Trying to trade some market that is a major market is a uh, have more liquidity. Most traders trade them, right? So you will not be, you know, have those uh, like a uh, black swan event, right? Those out of control movement. All right. Last but not least, let me just show you a picture. All right. You may be interested because uh, uh, <clears throat> let me just, uh, okay. Let me just uh, show you the picture, okay? Ah, it's here. All right, so this is a good announcement that uh, in June 23rd, 22nd to June 23rd, start from 9.30 a.m., okay? I will be hosting my pro trader course for two days uh, in UOB KKN Conference Hall, 8 Anthony Road, Singapore, right? So if any of you want to come to Singapore and learn, you can contact me. I will teach you two full days, right? And for all for my uh, uh, existing existing students, right? If you want to rehearse, uh, <coughs> retake the course, right? You'll be free to enter, free to join. You just send me an email telling you are coming, all right? Let me just book the seat for you. For for new traders, okay? For new students, right? This course will be holding in Singapore, and the price will be $2,600 uh, $2, US dollar, 20% uh, off, okay? And you can see, see me in person. You can meet me in Singapore, right? Okay, so it's, uh, uh, I made a lot of effort to book this conference hall, and uh, uh, the lecture hall is really good, and I'm going to teach my, all my trading strategies all my trading systems in these two days, okay? So June 22nd to June 23rd. If you want to fly to Singapore to come, right, you're free to contact me, all right? Uh, the course will be holding in English, uh, so you don't need to worry about that, you don't understand Mandarin, okay? All right? Okay, so uh, I think there, uh, only 26 are available, only 26 are, uh, are available. So uh, just to do not uh, miss this uh, chance because you guys know that I'm, I'm super busy. I don't have a lot of time to host a class in Singapore because most of my class will be holding in Shanghai and uh, students will be uh, Chinese students, <coughs> not international students. So uh, I think probably this will be my only, only class holding in Singapore for this year. Okay. All right. Are we good? All right. So just uh, give you the uh, give you guys this information. If you want to join, just uh, send me an email to sunrisejacked at hotmail dot com. Okay. Send me an email to here uh, and tell me that you want to join, and I will book the seat for you. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to see me? Are you? Yeah. Because trust me, the <laughs> the on location class will be definitely more powered than a webinar. Okay. You will learn a lot of things. You will learn fully my trading system is. Yeah, I know Nicholas has already signed up, right? Sure. Yeah, Tong Ye said uh, regards from grading. Okay, good. You want to join Singapore? Yeah, before you go back to US, yeah, just come to Singapore to to learn from me, right? All right, so this will be uh, only twenty six. Okay, only twenty six are available. All right, so early early bird 
early bird early bird promotion is 20 percent off right so it's uh us 2006 all right you'll be joining my students group and stay in my students school forever receive my mentorship and my personal advice for any of their investment are incurring incurring okay all right that's all for today plan your trade and trade your pens see you next week yeah drop me an email right drop me an email book the book the the this class uh, it's really good for you to own your own trading system like me all right i will teach what i know to all of them all right all right see you next time bye bye yeah welcome